So Ali Abdal has released his new AI editing tool to help us create videos faster than we could ourselves and just make better videos too. But is it any good? And is it worth you investing $24 a month into to use it? Here's what I found after using it myself. So Ali's AI tool is called Firecut. I'll pop a link to it in the description to this video so you can grab yourself a 14 day free trial if you wanna use it yourself. And when you install it into your editing software, it looks like this. It's just a simple nine button interface with six of those buttons being features that you can use. And in terms of helping us edit our videos faster, there's two features provided to help us do this. This one here, remove repetitions and remove silences here. And I'm just gonna put it out there. These two features are really good. Let's open up remove repetition first to show you how this works and why it's so useful. So I dropped this recording that I did in a previous video into my editing software. So you'll see up here in the timer, it's a 24 minute long video. And this is just a long video of me sitting down, recording different parts of the video, moving the camera around to a different position, recording different parts. And what this remove repetition feature in the AI does is it goes through this 24 minute recording and finds times where I try to say something and maybe mess up and then try again and try again, pick out repetitions. And as you probably guessed, removes the repetition, removes the failed attempts and just leaves me with the correct pieces of talking to camera that I did in this recording. So I'll just click the text repetition to show you this working. So normally without the AI, I'd have to go through this whole 24 minute video and find the mistakes and cut them out. But what the AI has done for me in just a couple of seconds is it's found all of those moments where I try to say something, mess up, try again, mess up, and then eventually get it right. And it's just put them in this list here for me. And for each failed attempt like this one here that is found, I can just select the correct recording press this tick to say that this is the correct attempt and it removes all of the bad attempts and just leaves me with the final correct attempt for each take just like this so look at this and now after using that tool that original 24 minute recording with all those bad takes is now down to 18 minutes and 14 seconds after all that unwanted repetition was taken out and that took me 20 seconds whereas normally if i was doing that manually that may have taken me half an hour so that saved me so much time but as you can see on the timeline i've still got moments of silence like here where i'm moving the camera here where I'm just staring at my computer deciding what to say next. So that's where Remove Silences comes in. We're gonna click into that now. And just by hitting go at the bottom, this is gonna take all of those unwanted silence out of my original recording. But that only took about three to four minutes of letting the AI do its thing. It went away and found 59 moments of silence and removed them from that original recording. And if we look now, that original 24 minute video has now been cut down into a tight, seven minutes of just the essential clips where I can now come in and add my graphics and additional stuff to finish the video. The tool saved me the time of doing that first pass of the edit myself, which would have taken me about 45 minutes to an hour of removing the silences and the mistakes. I've been able to get that down to maybe five minutes max using these two tools. So there's no question about it. Ali's tool definitely saves us time in the edit, but I wanna get onto the AI's features that help us make actually better videos. I already have a tool that helps me save time in the edit, like I've already shown you. But it was the next set of features that I'm gonna run you through now that I was most excited about here. So first off, we've got this Add Zooms tool right here, and this is probably my favorite feature. And I'm just gonna set Add Zooms running and show you what it does once it's finished. Okay, so here we go. After about five minutes, that's finished running and it's added these little layers, these little moments onto my timeline here. And if we press play, we can see what this actually does. Check the video up here. Cool, see that zoom in on my face, this video here, and in a second, it's gonna zoom out. That's what this tool does. It finds interesting moments where we say something important in the script and it zooms in on the talker when that important thing is being said and then zooms back out. And then it finds another one, zooms in, zooms out this is what a lot of talking to camera youtubers do because it just makes their videos more interesting more energetic and keeps viewers watching and obviously as we all know the longer our viewers watch our videos on youtube the better those videos perform being able to add moments like in this into our videos automatically rather than having to painstakingly go through and do it clip by clip which could take us up to an hour for a video of this length Massive time saver and a quick way to make our videos better and potentially get more views on YouTube. All right, next up, we've got this magical feature down here, add captions. Let's have a look. So by pressing this transcribe button here, the AI is going to process everything I say in the video and convert it to text. 
That took about 30 seconds and now I just simply choose the style that I like. So I'm going to go with the Alex Hormozy style. I'm going to change the size of the text. When I press the button at the bottom, the AI is going to automatically add Alex Hormozy style captions throughout my whole video recording. Look at that, the AI has automatically added these animated captions in the video that completely match up to every single word that I'm saying in the original recording. Text like this is meant to be really useful to put in the first five to 10 seconds of your video to just draw people in, keep them watching, especially if they've just hovered over the thumbnail of your video on the homepage and the video started to play in mute automatically. This text gives them some idea about what the video is about and can get them to click in to watch your video further. After using this AI for a few days now, it's clear to me that the biggest benefit here is the time saving. Essentially saving two to three hours each edit when you use Ali's new AI compared to if you're doing it yourself. I'm going to be adding Ali's AI tool into my workflow for future edits because I just loved using it so much. Probably even going to abuse it to edit this video. It's definitely worth that $29 a month for me and the amount of time I'm saving using it. The only real downside, I will mention this because I've not had a chance to mention this, is when you add those animated captions into the vid. It takes so long to add these captions. Just this, what's this, 50 second section here took about three minutes for the AI to go in and place those animated text sections in. Bradley and his team need to really work on how quickly the AI can add these moments with animated captions into our videos. It doesn't really bother me too much at this moment because I only really use animated text in the intros to my videos or maybe fully throughout if I'm making like a TikTok or short. But apart from the slow text insertions, I was massively impressed with Ali's AI. You can grab that free trial, like I said, by using the link below in the description to this video. Talking of TikToks and shorts, if you want another AI that can help you make thousands of TikToks and shorts in minutes, here's a video I made recently to show you how to automate that process and make sure to watch that next because you're going to need shorts as well as long form to grow on social media and obviously subscribe to the channel for more AI run-throughs like this.